problems here in this code, and we're going to fix them right now. What I'd like to do is I found a few things and, uh, well, uh, sort of a few mistakes, if you will, and I think we're going to fix those, and we're going to just maybe do a little bit of sweeping up uh, from the last time. So I want to start here, and uh, let's look at this little rectangle that we were drawing just so that we could see where our label was and you notice that we're drawing down here the top left of this rectangle is down in the middle which we did say that we were putting this down in the middle that's really all we need to do is subtract a self dot height from that and we should be uh summary self dot height divided by two and we should be good uh, not that that's of any use in reality, but, you know, you can just kind of see around where things are going. See, we have a, a height of 40 for that little main menu label, so we can put it at 20, which should mean that our little fella should be sitting right up at the top, which is fantabulous, I suppose. But that is neither here nor there. It is in the code, and it's now commented out, but it is correct. That's a good thing. Something else that I want to do... Um, in our UI, we have some lovely, lovely f helper functions called color and gray. And uh, we want to use those because we want to be able to change the color of our label. So what I want to do is we're going to make a new file. We're going to call it utils.lua. 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 Like this. And uh, we'll say local. We'll call it u equals a new table. We'll return that new table, and uh, what we're going to do is all we're going to do is we're just going to grab these guys right here, pull them out, stick them in here, remove the locals, yes, and we're going to make them part of this. And actually, it doesn't. We don't want a colon because we don't want the self. We just want the dot because there is no self here. This is just a self-contained function. So. That'll work, but we're going to also appear need to uh, do a require for that particular uh, util. So we'll say u local u equals require. We're in lib and we're in utils. And that's going to be this. Since we're now in a namespace for these, I uh, may have gotten them all, but. We'll see what happens. Let's run it. See what type it. Okay, we got no errors. That's good. So we're still here with a little swimming fella. Great, great. Now, let's add a color to our label. Um, I'm just trying to think here. I think more often than alignment, we'll probably be looking for a color. So. Let's put color here. So it will be X, Y with high text color and then alignment. So we'll say self.color equals color. Or if it's not there, we'll say u.color 255, which is white. And of course, we're going to have to also require this uh, in our label as well. Our new little local utils module that we call u and uh, that should let's check it and that still works and then if we come in here in our main menu we should be able to come in here and say okay i want to change the color of this uh, of course let's let's just do a table because i don't want to include all that stuff right now let's change it to uh green uh whoops red green blue and alpha run it and it should be a green color but of course it's not because we haven't we haven't set that yet so all we need to do then is we need to say love.graphics.set uh, color and then self.color like that we'll run it and we should get yes of course i did not do it correctly um uh, it is not that. It's uh, capital set, uh, capital C. Yes, yes, must be capital C. Boom. So, boom. 
Uh, okay, so our main menu is now green. So we can actually change the color of our text labels. So we've proven that we're able to do that. That is a fantastic, fantastic thing, ladies and gentlemen. Now on to some other things which are not correct. Um, we were playing with um, the scene manager stuff. We added in um, we added in a what we called an entity manager before, and we were having at least I was having some issues with it. And I came up with uh, doing this. Well, that's actually not quite the way you want to do it. Um, really, what you want to do is you want to call the new function of the super and then put yourself in it uh, like that, if I remember correctly. And actually, probably the best way to do it and the way that we're going to do it is... Uh, we're going to actually refer to it from this table as our super. So we'll do mm.super.new self. But because if we did super colon new, then then the implicit self that it would put in this way would be super. And we don't want that one. We actually want our table, if that makes any sense at all. I really hope that it makes sense. So we're back. Of course, we again want dot here and not the colon. We don't want we don't want the colon. Okay. Um, so we have uh, some other things we need to do, and the reason why this doesn't work is, of course, here. And again, we're saying self dot super colon update, and we're remember the colon implicitly passes the first parameter as self. So, uh, but in this case. With this colon here, the super colon update really is saying this. We don't want that, and that's what we've been running uh, the last time. But when we get ready to switch scenes, and actually, we'll use uh, we're going to use this this entity manager in the other scene. You'll see uh, you'll see what happens. Actually, let me let me put it back. Let's put it back the way it was, and I'll show you what it does because of that colon. Because I just completely just kind of screwed that up. I wasn't thinking about that. Let's go to test.lua and let's put the um, sprite into our uh, scene manager and then we'll say um, we'll say right here what self.super like that and then draw. So and remember what we're doing. We're doing it wrong but I'll show you what it does. It's pretty interesting. Okay, and then we'll do um, go ahead and do the update here. We'll do self dot super update dt. And again, remember this colon is saying, "Hey, you are self, so you're going to be that hidden parameter that goes in here, which is not what we want." Um, and then we want to also say. Um, self dot entity manager dot add sprite okay that's a lot of stuff I'm not sure if that's gonna work of course not of course not entity manager six uh, let's check this get this out we'll run it again and make sure that it, yeah okay and then we'll say okay yeah see it's um so watch this this should be a very very strange oh wait we do want that to be self, but uh, yeah, see, we get some weird things going on here, right? Um, because this isn't exactly correct. Um, let me also grab this stuff, and I'm going to take this. We're going to put it in here. I'm going to get rid of this. Like so. Um, and this is the way it should work, right? We should be able to do that. And watch what happens again. Like I said, okay, we'll move to the next scene, and then we get this. Well, that's because we don't have our the self variable is not correct. Like I said before, this is not right. 
we can't do it like this because this is this is just it's not work it's not going to work so what we want to do is we want to say uh, the actual class name dot super and then we'll say dot new and then we'll pass our self table in here that's the way it should be done and we'll do that here too t dot super dot new self now this isn't going to work either because we have to change the updates but i'm just going to show you boom see dead okay so what we need to do here is self dot super dot update and then we pass our self table in here otherwise ain't gonna work friends ain't gonna work so i also change that to a dot as well and we should grab this one it's kind of inconvenient more than a little bit but it should work so we'll see what i got here self dot super dot draw and I, I don't know maybe i should have the self there as well and pro yeah and now i have to do that with test also self super dot draw self and actually this one we don't even need this one because we're not uh we're not doing anything addition additional in the drawing so now things are switching back and forth correctly so we fixed that problem you see what i mean that's a kind of a hairy little thing a hairy little thing that can bite you um Anytime you have that colon, that's going to basically take that ver that that variable that's right before the colon, and implicitly use that as the self variable or as the self input for that particular function. So you got to make sure that you um, are aware of that. Um, and of course, I made that mistake, and now we are fixing it. Um, let's go to well, we are already at test. Let's make the little fellow walk just for fun. Let's reduce his his scale to four at each side. We're just gonna get kind of get ready for um some of the other stuff that we'll be doing. And uh, yeah, he still still looks okay. Matter of fact, we should we could probably even take him down to two. Um, let's see. Man, that's really small. I'm going to go back up to four for now. It's just easier to see. All right. So we fixed some stuff here, some really important things. And whenever you're at, when you're deriving from a class, you got to be really careful with the self uh, variable. And uh, it's funny because in JavaScript, you have a, a, a this dot and uh, that this dot is very similar to this. And you just have to make sure that you get the right one in there. So I'll push these changes up. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything else that I want to do? Uh, let's. No, not really. I don't. I think that's all good. What I really this should be should be like this. That's probably the other thing that I would like to do. All right. Now that we have fixed this, we should be happy and everything should be good. And I'll see you guys next time.